Hello everyone, and this is Serenis here, back with another awesome Fortnite Battle Royale gameplay today. And this time today, guys, an unexpected video, I'm sure, for most of you, since I said I'd be taking a short break from YouTube, but we did have the Easter break, and I managed to get on for a couple of days, and got a couple of really good gameplays coming out on the channel, including Manjaro's uh, Episode 10 in uh, the Duos playlist, so Celerities and Serenities doing their thing in Episode 10 right here. And this is just after the Easter update with the uh, directed uh, rocket update, so the directed um, missiles. Uh, so there's going to be um, some action of that in this gameplay and I really hope you guys enjoy it. Um, so I did get on for a couple of days guys to play some games with my boys, uh, well Celerities Manjara in this one and also uh, my, my other best friend Sun100. And I've got a nice couple of gameplays to come, um, including this one, Manjaro's Episode 10, and that gameplay, um, from which were the Easter period. So I really hope you guys enjoy this, and I wanted to get them out now whilst they're still relevant and not in May. Um, just these two gameplays in particular, because they were nice games, uh, for particular reasons. And uh, in both games as well, actually, um, the, the starting place that uh, I went with both of my partners in both games, we ended up kind of like being in the same area when the Royale ended roughly so I really hope you guys enjoy that and uh, see the strategies that we have for playing in that kind of way and uh, at the start of this game we decided that uh, Matt and myself decided to go to Hit With Towers and uh, in this gameplay uh, it's a really nice one from Matt and myself as well uh, but Matt makes some really clutch plays to make this win possible and uh, actually some of it was included in his most recent highlight vid which I'll link in the uh, description um, because of the earliest battles uh, I might as well just say at this point um, go to Matt Tizai's channel and uh, watch how a pro does it <laughs> but I um, hope you enjoy that Matt that was for you man but um, yeah Matt's just uh, solid at this game and like I said, said many times um, and I know that he says that I hype him up too much, but, you know, whatever, Matt, you deserve it. Um, is my master on this gameplay. He's very good at Fortnite Battle Royale. I've been, um, you know, really impressed with some of the plays he comes out with. And, you know, just, you're going to see some awesome ones in this game as much as all the other ones that I've played with, Matt. But, um, <laughs> so at this point, guys, not a bad... Uh, start tilted, I mean look I'm still alive, um, <laughs> but at this point just trying to regroup with Matt and uh, trying to get some battles going because uh, whenever you go to Tilted Towers, come on let's be honest, you want to try and get a few kills, so that's what Matt and I are trying to look for at this moment in time, um, at that point early on I was just communicating to Matt where there's some green pumps were in my building, and uh, it's a nice gameplay from Matt and myself because I think it's the first time I've won with Matt with the uh, Black Knight um, outfit. I uh, haven't had a duos win with Matt with this outfit before, so I was quite happy with that. And uh, Matt rocking his elite agent, uh, which is uh, quite a high one up on this uh, current season's battle pass. And uh, at this point here, Matt breaks into this little building, and look what he finds on the floor, a gold scar. Gold scar for the elite agent, and Tizite right there. And uh, very nice too, because uh, that will definitely come in handy, no doubt. And in uh, Matt's hands, that's going to be a real bomb. And... Uh, <laughs> So at this point here, guys, just going to get the materials from the pallet and um, the ammo. Um, yeah, that's what I get. Um, <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, Matt's very, uh, you know, like I say, very nice for Matt to have that because that's going to really help us out as a duo team, um, you know, going forward. So great for him. Um, so at this point here, guys, we're leaving Tilted. Funnily enough, we didn't get attacked. It's, uh, it's highly unusual um, for Tilted Towers, if I'm honest. But yeah. We, we didn't get attacked, uh, can't explain why we didn't get attacked, but there you go, we didn't get attacked, so moving on, um, at this point just going to get materials because obviously Tilted Towers you don't get many, uh, so it's definitely worth um, mining what materials you can when you do leave Tilted Towers uh, for sure. Um, at this point here it's always worth a while, I think when you leave Tilted Towers to go around the facilities to check the uh, shacks because you know, this time a blue revolver is not bad, but you know, occasionally you'll get a really good weapon, really, really good. I mean, blue revolver is a good weapon, but you know, like a really good assault rifle from time to time. So it is worth looking um, just in these little shacks that are just outside of Tilted if you don't really uh, get lucky within Tilted Towers. And uh, at this point here, it, we're coming up to the moment where Matt um, becomes God. I mean, he is God anyway uh, on this game, but, um, he decides to show us, uh, how he plays Fortnite Battle Royale in most circumstances, I hope you guys enjoy it, sorry for the poor quality here, I'm not sure what happened at this moment in the, uh, gameplay in terms of the video quality, but, as you can see, I try to help Matt and get one nice shot out of the few I fired there, but then get taken out very quickly, 
So it's all up to Matt, and I really hope you guys enjoy this bit of play. Um, what you can see crawling from me on the floor, and it's at this point that I should be saying to you guys, uh, go to Matt Tizipe's channel and follow the link in the description uh, to see his godliness right here on Serenity's vids. But I hope you guys enjoy. So as you can see guys, Matizite the God already knocking one of the enemy players as they charge him one by one. Come at me guys, I am Matizite the God. You will not stop me and I will save my boy Serenity's under the ramp. And uh, at this point here he's just in the fight with the other teammate as they do. You know, silly, silly players charging Matizite the God one by one. And as you can see from the... From the heaven above, Matizipe reigns victorious and uh, gets his boy Serenity's back up. Uh, very kind of Matt to give me a medkit and a uh, small shield there. And uh, just, you know, great play from Matt. And uh, that's why I play with Matt Matizipe, everyone. He's the best. Um, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, but Matt, as I said, Matt, very good at this game. And uh, at this point here, before I finish my heal, I try to help my Manjaro bro because I realise that he's, uh, we're under attack. And... Uh, Instead of completing that med kit, I obviously have to build that wall just to protect. And uh, at this point here, I think Matt says they, they be a coming. So at this point, I'm just trying to uh, find the blue burst that Matt called out. Because if he said uh, there's a blue burst that you can get if you want it. And uh, at there, at that point, I just couldn't pick it up off the floor for a moment. And uh, by the time I've done all of that, uh, Matt and I are getting attacked. So at this point, I help Matt before I apply my heal. Because uh, more advantageous for us both to shoot the guy. And... Uh, at that point there, really nice play from Matt and myself, I got a bit of damage on that guy and Matt uh, shot out the appropriate um, ladder, so the whole thing fell in the sky and uh, he actually took full damage from that and died. And his teammate was just behind this uh, wall that I was on and uh, Matt shotgunned him, so great play from Matt, um, you know, that was just absolutely fantastic play um, from Matt in that situation. and. Uh, that's why he's meant to type the god, everyone. And uh, like I said, go to his channel if you want to see that highlight clip. Um, some of you may have already seen it. Um, I know that the legend uh, Chris Mitchell um, has already seen that episode. Um, and hopefully uh, Chris might watch this video. And he'll see that I've shouted him out because uh, he is a legend. And, uh, you know, one of uh, the guys I really love reading all my comments, watches all my stuff. So thanks for that, Chris. I really appreciate it, mate. And, um... Yeah, like I said, you know, some, some people have seen that godliness already. But if you haven't, do go to uh, Matt Tizai's channel to see it. Um, <laughs> so moving on, guys. Um, so really nice uh, plays from Matt, uh, to be honest, not from me. Um, at this point here, I think uh, I was just saying to Matt, I had a um, sniper rifle and just uh, giving him some ammo there to uh, you know, share the love a bit. Um, I think that's what I was doing right there. So... Yeah, moving on with the rest of the uh, gameplay now. So, um, you know, we just got to move forward and, uh, yeah, just appropriately set up in um, regards to the next area in the zone. Um, tilted, uh, pretty much uh, tilted in the outside area that we're currently in, stays in the uh, zone for the whole match. So we don't really go anywhere. We just stay around the, um, the area. And at this point um, here, as we approach Loot Lake, I try to... Uh, I tried my sniping game out, um, in which I'm not really successful in this gameplay, but I did have a game um, with uh, Sun where I hit a nice snipe. Unfortunately, I didn't win that uh, Royale with him, but you know, I'm starting to get a bit better with it. Unfortunately, you don't really see it in this gameplay, but um do manage to net myself a kill here after getting tagged up a little bit by Glow in the Dark down there, but eventually get the final shot on him and finish that guy off, and uh, Matt killed the one in the water, so great play from Matt. And that takes Matt's kill count up to four, I believe, at this point in the gameplay. So, really great plays from Matt. Um, you know, uh, he does take some damage there. So, I decide uh, when he's healing up now, I decide because I don't think he has any uh, shield heals. I just drop him in some uh, smalls to help him out there. So, then, you know, not to sort of uh, save time. As, uh, you know, again, I'm getting a bit of the loot here. Get myself some RPGs, which is nice. And... Um, at this moment here, looking to see what this guy had by this tree, and uh, not much by all accounts, just um, some metal was probably the best thing that I grabbed there from his uh, dead body right there. Um, so as you can see, Matt and I are looking to push forward with the rest of the gameplay, and um, at this point, a decent amount of wood though, by all accounts, I think it's like 600 of wood I can see there on the preview screen, I think that's right, so not bad uh, set of wood. Uh, material going forward. Um, so at this point here, guys, skipping forward a bit um, because not much really happened. Uh, we pretty much just ran around the same sort of area. Um, as you can see, Loot Lake's starting to not be in now and it's sort of more the area just outside of Tilted that is uh, currently in the zone. And, um, you know, this is really where the Royale ends uh, at this point. So we're just really 
uh, biding our time and looking for the surrounding players uh, within the vicinity right here, guys. And I figure the time of the gameplay, uh, Matt was saying perhaps we should just check in any late runners from uh, Tilted Towers, which is a good idea because as much as like we did start there and sort of hang around this area for most of the game, uh, there could still be some late runners there, so that's what Matt and I decided to do. And um, at this moment, uh, Matt's going to build up on this little mountain, just have a little look up there just to see what's uh, been occurring, which is a good idea on his part. And uh, at this point, as you can see, Matt with some nice... Uh, structure a bit confusing at the end there but um, <laughs> but I worked it out um, <laughs> but uh, yeah no um, you know uh, just checking over tilted now because as the zone's coming in um, the blue to the white uh, line for the circle is just uh, worth checking any of those late runners because they do um, they do come in um, as you know from watching my solo gameplays <laughs> I'm one of those late runners but um, yeah they definitely do come in so it's worth um, it's always worth checking anyway so um, just to see what could uh, what players could be uh, coming in and at this point here as well like because it's the final 12 or 13 players it's just worth trying to get positions of uh, particular teams at this point um, so it's like you know like solo it's important to sort of have a bearing of roughly where people are and um, as you can see no activity yet um, so nothing to really report uh, but I think at this point um, eventually Matt spots someone and uh, it's a solo player does come in, in a minute but at this moment in time, I was just trying to check on this base on the hill, and I can see a guy up there. And if I was confident in my sniping abilities, I would be definitely taking a shot here. But um, I just thought it was better just to pinpoint where they were first and uh, wait to see what Matt wants to do. And uh, personally, wouldn't take that shot anyway when there's a guy right near us that Matt spotted here. And uh, nice awareness from Matt it is a solo player that came in from Tilted, so we decided to chase. And uh, he did have rockets there, and uh, before he. Uh, can land a rocket there, I've already taken him out, so nice play from us, and we know that he has a pair of rockets for us, so that's good. And at this point here, just uh, Matt looted uh, the best things from him, so nice play from Matt. Um, so at this point here, guys, just uh, trying to sort of bide our time. Um, Matt decides, like, based on where we are in the map and everything, it might be worth just going for this crate, uh, because we had no one behind us, and although someone did shoot the balloon, um, you know, it's worth just... Uh, it work, probably is worth going for because uh, there's nothing really else for us to do at this moment in the game. There's still quite a lot of players for the late game. And uh, here we're watching, uh, we're switching to Matt Tizite for God's POV right here. Um, <laughs> Celerity's Manjaro because he has got the guided missiles now from the uh, the care package or the crate, whatever you want to call it. And um, we're going to see some really awesome uh, guided missile action from the from the God right here. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy it. So we're going to go back and forth a little bit to match POV at times because as you can see he's got the gold uh, guided missiles. So we're going to see that here, right here on the screen. And I hope you guys enjoy this. So the way it works guys, for any of you who don't know, you may have seen on other YouTube videos, is um, your character basically goes idle whilst you direct your rocket. And uh, you can blow it up when you want or wait till the time runs out. I think it's like 18 seconds. So at this point here you can see uh, God, uh, Celerities, Cupidities, Mechas, the Boss, you can just see him um, firing all the scout around the map, which is actually a good play. And um, at this point I was watching over him whilst that's happening because obviously he is idle, so I have to make sure that I can see everything going on around the vicinity because Matt has no control over his character at that time. Uh, so, you know, I have to kind of uh, watch the floor a little bit. I was hanging back a little bit because I had a greater visibility of uh, the above hill. Um, could sort of see everything, so <clears throat> at this point here, Matt's just sort of uh, waiting to see what's happened, another crate's coming in in the distance, and I think at this point, just really trying to sort of determine where the other players are, because he said it from those rockets, bro, I couldn't actually see anyone, so um, there is a bit of activity on the um, activity feed there, someone was just uh, knocked or taken out, so there is uh, definitely players still in the game, we just don't know where they are, um, so at this point here, again, Matt just uh, looking to see about the care package, so we'll scout around that and see perhaps if anyone's going to go for that. At this point here, nice play from him, there's a couple of crates coming in, so that will definitely attract attention, and uh, I think that's what Matt was hoping for. Uh, but even behind this uh, wall, there was nothing there, and uh, still no one we can see close to us. Um, but nice scouting from Matt. Here we're just switching back to my POV, guys, because uh, I'm the next one to spot some players, so that's why I swap over here. 
Um, so at this point here, just looking to really scout and just wait, to be honest, because we have good weaponry, we have a decent amount of materials, so we're just waiting to get into a fight, really, and trying to find people, and uh, without the expense of really going too far, because we are really close to the zone, so there's not much for us to do right now other than, you know, try and uh, determine where the other team are. So at this point here, I see a, couple, I see a team launch padding over to the mountain near us, so we're definitely going to attack this team because... Uh, we want some action and uh, you know they're, they're going to pay the price for that because we've waited too long. Um, <laughs> so at this point here I start to go work on their base, uh, the guy builds up pretty quickly uh, so I decide to keep the pressure on. Uh, at this point here Matt joins me up on the hill and we're going to see some more guys in this cell action from him in a sec because I'm putting some hurt on the base and you'll see how Matt places one view of these these guided missiles and uh, it really worked out in this case where um, you know the other partner is applying a lot of pressure if you go to work like this, obviously the other, the, the other team you're facing does not stand a chance as the uh, Solari and Jaro firing the rockets from uh, from heaven right here into their base. And uh, I hope you guys like the editing, uh, particularly of you, Matt, of how I can find uh, the guided missile gameplay um, from my PSV as well. I thought I did it quite well, um, if I do say so myself. And um, at this point here, you know, Matt's design is putting on the, uh, the rockets from the heavens coming down. and. No, these guys, they've got no chance, they can't rebuild their base and Serenity is adding the pressure to the left. It's all not going well for this other team. And so, so there he continues to apply the rockets. Oh, there we go, we've found an astronaut taking him down. And uh, at this point here, Serenity realises that and moves in and gets the other guy. And then we get them both, and Manjaro's victorious there with some um, pretty hilarious rockets from uh, Matt's end. I'm really happy with how he played that. Um, and uh, even better, he ne then gets the uh, the other guy in the next team that we were facing, and that's pretty much the Royale right there, because uh, that was one of, uh, we're now into 2v2, and he's already knocked the guy down, so yep, that's pretty much shame, set a match right there, as the Manjaros are not going to lose a 2v1, and uh, at this point I'm realising that, pushing up, and uh, great, great uh, guided missiles from Matt at the end there, really... Uh, really won us the game to be honest. I mean, how easy was that? <laughs> and I think after this match, Matt said how game breaking is that. As you can see, I finished the last guy off. But yeah, you know, guided missiles are uh, very effective if you can use them in the way that we did in this gameplay. And uh, I think Matt really took the benefits there. Um, in in the, actually, in the terms of the circle that we had, I think the guided missiles were a gift from the gods really because that was the right kind of circle for us to do it on as well because we were a little bit far, far away from everyone else and uh, yeah it just really worked out um, we did get to see a lot of the use of it there and I hope you guys enjoyed that really great gameplay from the Manjaros for episode 10 uh, this was a 10 kill gameplay combined because Matt had 6 I had 4 so 10 kills for the Manjaros in episode 10 I really hope you guys enjoyed this this is the first instalment of my um, Easter gameplays that I wanted to get out. I've got another one coming out with Sun next time. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed as well, Matt. Majora's episode 10 on Fortnite Battle Royale, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.